I think the big difference is um, we're filling that gap between practice and theory. So a lot of students have um, a reasonable understanding of the theory around mental health conditions, but when they get out into clinical placement, they struggle to apply it. Um, this text is a really good balance between what those core um, concepts are around mental health conditions and how do I apply it. So there's um, dedicated chapters uh, on comprehensive mental um, state exam, so the MSE is covered really comprehensively and then we have um, quite large individual chapters on things like schizophrenia, we also have um, individual chapters on bipolar disorder and interspersed within all that we also look at medications, we apply a recovery focused um, practice as well. So it's ticking all those boxes of contemporary mental health nursing. I think one of the other key points about our text is the very deliberate decision to have an Australian context and I think specifically that will be seen in, in our chapter related to the cultural context of mental health in Australia which we've had the great honour of having that chapter written by an Indigenous academic who is very highly regarded and well respected within Indigenous and academic circles and is passionate about the emotional and social well-being of her people and that chapter is definitely a standout and I think will help students broaden their understanding and encourage them to continue to seek um, knowledge and, and reflect on their own cultural practice as clinicians, both as students and into the future. I think that one of the things that students have said to me over the years is, but what does a mental health nurse do? And whilst there was this intellectual interest in the subject, marrying that to the, the actual practice was difficult. And so for me, what is, is key to this book is taking those fundamental ideas, though that theory, and then saying, well, how do, I, how do I work with this? How do I work with a person who's experiencing a mental health condition? What do I do as a mental health nurse to make a difference? I'm really proud that we've written a book that I think a student can pick up and feel that passion as well and maybe develop their own passion to want to be a mental health nurse and to um, you know, be the shape of the next lot of mental health nurses for the future and make a difference to people with a mental health condition. I think another feature that students will like in the text are the clinical observation and um, safety alert boxes that are interspersed throughout the chapter. Short, sharp, key information that relates to a specific section in the chapter. So students can go to that and they get the must-knows, the non-negotiables of practice. I think that's a really key feature that will stand out for students. So we've included um, DSM um, criteria and classifications throughout all our Section 2 chapters where we look at different conditions. And so for example, the chapter on schizophrenia has the DSM criteria um, for diagnostics around schizophrenia. Um, but that can be really difficult for people or for students to get to get their head around. So we also describe and, and explain the narrative behind that in, in I guess addressing different learners too. So um, for those who are comfortable looking at the diagnostic criteria from the DSM but also for students who require a narrative around that.